there was a single Tesla mega pack that experienced a thermal event and caught fire around 106 a.m. The root cause was uh, significant water ingress leading to electrical shorts and thermal runaways. The rainwater intrusion went inside. So what happens is like on the top, you can imagine these batteries make a lot of heat. So there's a ton of ventilation on the on the roof and on the, the upper transom, I guess, areas. And um, that's, I guess, how the water got in at this point. So the official report stated that the fire consumed itself. That's in quotes, right? So about six hours of flaming combustions, plus about 12 hours of visible smoke and off gassings. We talk about in classes the need to contact the battery monitoring systems that are in place to watch these things because here's an entire group of people that are dedicated to seeing what is going on inside of this building. We don't want to go inside of the building, but we sure as hell kind of want to understand what's going on. The takeaway is there are people out there who can give you information on what's going on inside of these things without having to make entry and go in and put yourselves in danger. The hazmat guys, quite frankly, they have the best training out there. Everybody says so. Tremendous courses, fantastic trainers. Let's make hazmat training great again.